49. 49. Wow, screaming, screaming towards 50. All oh, right. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. 50 is going to be nuts. 50 is going to be a This banana, one's going to suck, but 50. 49 has potential. I don't think this has potential. Really? I'm out of be... it. It's too early. That's true. This is an, this might be our earliest cast Time's ever. 1240. 1240 is Wake early. Up. This is early. Wake up time. This is usually when I'm waking up. That's I'm usually good. I usually woke up uh, 40 minutes ago, and I'm still in bed. Chilling. Surfing the web. Pretend we're in bed right now. Pretend we're both laying there surfing your phone. All right. Cue up some fucking I'm incest. I'm against the wall. <laughs> Cue up some incest porn. <laughs> Crack one off. Walk down to Starbucks. Get the day going. <laughs> what, what, kind, what kind are you talking? Like, you go mother, son? No, nah, I'm talking stepdaughter. That's or not step, it. step, uh, stepsister. That's not incest. Eh, it's nice, though. It is nice. I like what it's an added twisted element. It sucks when you're traveling that route, and then there's like a nice thumbnail that's like straight up mother son. Yeah, like, whenever they do the mother son thing, you're like yeah. I've heard ones where the guy is like real, like they're acting hard on it. Yeah, like the mom son dynamic of like, mommy, what are you doing? Ew. Yeah, that's too much. Because then I'm like, am I jerking off to a fantasy of fucking my mom right now? Is that well, not is that not your mom? Just that guy fucking his mom. You're, yeah. just, you're just appreciator of other people fucking their moms. Doesn't want mean you want to fuck your mom. Yeah, but I, I'm a staunch anti motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm very anti hey. fucking your own mom. Yeah, but I mean, doesn't mean you want to appreciate someone else. True. Pretending to fuck theirs and like some True. weird stuff. That dude. Can you imagine getting the call? You went out to be a fucking actor, and they're like, "Hey, let's do a little porn." They're like, all right, you go out there, and they're like, "All right, this lady's your mom." And you're like. Mommy, you said <laughs> That's how far you fall. God, I wonder how often that's really happened. A guy fucking his mom. Oh, in really life. in porn? Oh, in, in life? life? I don't think uh, it's very... I'd say one out of 200. You think it's that prevalent? Nah, actually, probably not. I'd say one out of One out of 200. That means a million <laughs> in America <laughs> fucked that's their mom. That's not that many. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. One out of two hundred. I think stepmoms is is reasonable. I would say every dude, if you don't fuck your stepmom, you're gay. True. If you have a stepmom, <laughs> listener, if you have a stepmom and you haven't at least fingered her, at least tried, fingered her at the Christmas party. Oh my god! And then she said no, and now it's your secret. That's pretty hot. I mean, that's like I'm getting hard down here right now. Stepmom is the only thing. It's like adopted cousin, stepmom. They're like as hot as it gets. Adopted cousin. <laughs> Adopted, cousin. <laughs> Adopted Asian cousin. That's the oh ace, my god. That's the ace of spades in the metal that fucking is, spank bank, dude. In the you incest world. If, you, <laughs> if you're in the shower and you can't get it off, dude, you just go AC, adopt a cousin, dude, fucking rip it. <laughs> the Joker is gay. The Joker is gay stepdad. <laughs> you have two dads. <laughs> you fucking you even, dad. You don't even have a stepdad, dude. <laughs> you just fucking... Pretend your dad's your stepdad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, anyway. Ace of Spade is definitely adopted cousin. <laughs> in for the holidays, she's like, and your family's like, ah, she doesn't know where to stay. We're going to put her up in your room. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the curveball welcome down to, the middle. Wel- oh, welcome to the Thunderdome. <sighs> you're in fucking, my bedroom now. You're hitting, the, you're hitting the top of the bunk bed with the ropes, dude. That's you probably fucking... come as soon as they said it. <laughs> They're like, do you mind if uh, she stays in your room? <laughs> You get that first hug in front of her parents. You're like, Ugh. oh god, that's nice. A little yeah. incest, kick this thing yeah, off. Yeah, that's good. We, yeah, we, incest porn. Really... I feel like there was one I saw a long time ago. Yeah, that kind of, in my mind, kicked it off because it was like the first one I saw. Which one was it? Ah, uh, there's one. It's like she's like a weird looking, average looking lady. She that's, does a bunch of these. It kind of intensifies it. Yeah, it kind of made it hotter. <laughs> yeah. And she, it's like her and uh, I guess her son or her nephew or something. Nephew, and she's like, yeah. get in the bed. We have to. We have. We have a big day tomorrow. And then he has a boner, and she's like, "What is that?" <laughs> she's like, "Well, get rid of it." And then she's like, "Maybe if you put it here, this will help." And then he ends up fucking it. I saw it a while ago. Yeah, that'll do it. You got imprinted on. And then uh, I think. I think. It's increased. I think I think that was a groundbreaking <laughs> incest porn. I think they've all followed suit after that. Yeah. Any ones that is just like some hot stepmom rolling in, be like, get out of bed. And he's like, okay, I'm hard. And she's like, oh, come on, Jason. And starts stroking him. I like, wonder why Ooh. that's such a nice fantasy of like somebody making you come out of like, it's their duty. Or motherly like they're helping instinct? you. Not motherly necessary, but just like... <laughs> Just like them, like there's doctor scenes like that. There's like, True. where somebody just like makes you come just purely, I don't know. Well, if that goes two ways. Because if you if you get married, 
you'll get a little bit of like duty fucking sex where they're like, fine, put, go ahead, put it in. And yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah. fuck this. But if like you're watching someone, stepmom, be like, come on, we got to catch the boss. It's like, oh my God, yes. 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 Dude. Yes. <laughs> yes. Episode 49. <laughs> dude, my house has gotten really sexual lately. You're, I told you about the uh, the dogs. The dogs, yeah. You, man. I just got a dog, and my girlfriend's dog sucks my dog's dick every morning. Wow. My girlfriend hates it, dude. Which is, I think, it's weird to try to break that up. I would not like that. Why? I would not like dude. dogs <laughs> sucking each other's dicks every no, morning. My I dog know. doesn't suck dick. Well, my dog doesn't even eat pussy, dude. He just gets his dick sucked. <laughs> that's incest porn, dude. That's his fucking adopted cousin. <laughs> Your fucking yeah. dogs living the dream, dude. Every day, They're dude. like, you guys got to share a doggy bed. He, she he was just like, what? Wake, she wakes up with his dick on her. She wakes up, and I see her like go over to his bed and just instantly start <laughs> sucking his And he has a wart on the side of his dick like Rasputin, too. <laughs> he has a fucking genital wart? <laughs> it's like so, he has like a cyst. He has like a dick like Rasputin, warts. dude. He's got a wart on his dick. Your other dog's gonna die of throat cancer dude who fucking she's gonna get hpv the girl yeah if you suck someone's dick with uh or eat pussy isn't that what happened to michael douglas michael douglas got michael douglas got throat cancer and he said it was because he was eating uh who's that hot lady he's a gorgeous wife spanish oh my god selma hayek yeah no or not selma hayek but similar I know you're talking about, yeah. Yeah. He was like, it's because... He claims that he got throat cancer from her pussy. (laughs) Eating pussy with HPV. Dude, her pussy was too spicy, dude. Like, you sure it wasn't all those cigars? (laughs) No, it was eating pussy. (laughs) It was eating the hottest pussy in the world. True. That'll burn your throat. It's the Carolina Reaper of pussy. (laughs) But, um... Yeah, that's been enjoyable to watch every morning. Yeah, I would would put an end to that. Why? What if it's like an important dog ritual? She's like, it's not an important dog ritual. (laughs) (laughs) He sucked it. No, like that's like it could be like a thing where they're bonding, and then if you get in the way of that, they could start fighting and become enemies. Do you think that's a likely scenario? I gotta, I gotta recheck Caesar, dude. But I don't know. I gotta watch some Milan. I don't think that was on an episode. Caesar Milan. Caesar sucks <laughs> dogs. Caesar, are giving... Caesar sucks our dicks. <laughs> I mean, everyone's like, he's probably shocking those dogs off screen. He's just fucking sucking he's his dicks. Bobbing, dude. <laughs> uh, Matt posted a video on oh, yeah. on Instagram of his dogs flating each other, blowing each other, yeah. <laughs> and he played the song "Getting Some Head" in the background. How was that? Did that go over well? That video? Yeah, it got a lot of got a lot of good great reactions. responses, dude. Yeah, I'm surprised people weren't upset by that. Uh, yeah, I know. Was, uh, my sister was. Was she upset by? She it? told me she was. People like... People either really liked it or they really didn't. She was like, "Matt's fucking nuts, what? dude. They're dogs." People, I'll tell you what. People that listen to this are like, "Dude, Matt is fucking <laughs> nuts." Seriously, my cousin said it too. It's weird to go into like sister and cousin after that <laughs> first part, but I uh, you just got a rager. I went over now. Shut the fuck up. I went over to. Uh, <laughs> My cousin's house to watch the Notre Dame game on Saturday. Did you? And he was he was my cousin Frankie. He's a he's a big fan of the Frankie's. cast. Frankie's nuts, dude. That's the guy who wears the uh, he was constantly suits. gym shorts. He was wearing a UNLV hoodie. <laughs> I kept making fun of him for being Las Vegas strong. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking. He was like UNLV is gonna rise up, Shaner. He's like they're gonna be fucking tough. I think they lost by like forty that night. But uh, yeah, he was saying how fucking weird you are. That's so funny. He was like, your buddy Matt's a fucking space cadet. I was like, yeah, he's fucking wild, dude. He just posted a video of dogs sucking dick. Anyway. It's funny. The funny part of the video is her neck's actually craning up and down. But you've been, you've been checking out on the... Uh, Las- I saw it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was been, excited about it. I that, thought it was hilarious. following the Las Vegas thing? Oh, yeah, you have. I've been trying to. I think um, I've cracked. I didn't realize there was a hierarchy to conspiracy world. What's that? So it's, there's like whole levels to it. There's a whole thing where people are called uh, LARPs. So like there's people who live action role play being like a government mole and they go on a conspiracy boards and like drop breadcrumbs, mm. air quotes. So they just spread misinformation mm. and they're like, watch out for this. Trump's leaving us breadcrumbs right now. They're leading us to the thing. Dude, it's so Ooh. funny. So I was getting into that. Like, Holy fuck. And then they'd be like, no, he's a LARPer. Don't listen. To oh, no. <laughs> so there's like serious guys who are trying to figure it out. Oh my it's god! So They're funny. trying to figure it out on Reddit. 
On Reddit, yeah. And they're just like, listen, you can hear this clearly another type of gunshot. It's just like... Yeah, it's just a fucking echo yeah. off the other tall buildings. Like, look, a muzzle flash. And they're like, dude, every building is glass in Las Vegas. Yeah, I saw that muzzle flash. Saw the flash? I know, where, I know where it is. I saw it on my own. I didn't see it on Reddit. Did you really? Is it in like the middle of the building on the lower floor? Towards the bottom, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Someone else let out I a shot. I saw a fucking flashing light on there. Yeah, I was like, the is that gla- where you're shooting from? The glass wasn't broken, though. So yeah, like, I mean, it was clearly a reflection. Or some of the windows do open a little. Like. I deduced that immediately. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, well, yeah, I'm that, a LARP, dude. that's clearly a fucking reflection I'm from one of the other flashing lights in Las Vegas. <sighs> but that's yeah. nice you're falling into the uh, conspiracy theory realm. I've been, in, I've been intrigued by it. Have you, have you, I remember I saw, uh, um, what's that 9-11 change, loose change? Was that a documentary? Yeah, that was like the original fucking conspiracy theory, like online YouTube. Is it good? Loose change. Well, when I was nineteen and I saw it, yeah. it was fucking crazy. I saw, yeah, I, I was saw. Like, Whoa, think about it, man. <laughs> there, there, was, there was this kid when I had never tell you about this when I had fleas and I slept in my brother's house and my I had fleas in my house, so I slept in my brother's <laughs> week for two weeks, my brother's couch for two weeks, and there was this Canadian who lived there. And yeah, he, he would watch conspiracy videos every night. Damn. So I would lay on a pull-out couch, and this fucking Canadian would just lay there for fucking two hours, and just That's like nice. as the week went on, it escalated more and more, and got like crazier to the point of like interdimensional travel and aliens and shit. And I, I was like twenty-two, and I sold this kid some mushrooms before, and I like ripped them off really badly, and it nice. charged him like sixty bucks for a little bit. Canadian, fucking Canuck, dude, get yeah. out of here! <laughs> like, so that night he ate them. <laughs> so I'm sleeping on the couch and I just wake up and feel this dude breathing over me and his piece playing like, and then the ring of power. <laughs> oh God, dude. So I'm like one eye open on this dude. Like what the fuck this guy is doing? I, I know. I didn't know he ate him. Yeah. Apparently he, uh, he had gone upstairs and like sprinkled protein powder all over his room and wrote like nasty notes to my one brother telling him he was the devil and told him like my older brother that he was like a piece of shit. Wow. That, like, he got ripped off from mushrooms. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and he fucking just left and never came back. That's a Canadian goodbye. That was a Canadian... Dude, he took... I like... Because I'm laying there. He was hovering over me. I'm like, what the fuck? And then he came Damn, back. dude. He almost killed you. He probably would have. And he, dude, was huge, too. And he came back downstairs. Well, obviously, if he's leaving notes in protein powder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he communicates. I just watched him fucking lug two duffel bags and walk out the door. And he never came back. What do you think he was mad at? The shrooms? Well, he was also he used to sit in the backyard and like swing his golf club, but just hit dirt clods at the house. So my brothers would come out and be like, "Dude, knock it the fuck off!" And he'd be like, "Oh, sorry about that. Oh, I'm cool. I'm sorry." Why would he be hitting? Clods he would practice of dirt. his golf swing, so he would just go okay. like this and swing, but he was kicking up dirt that's yeah, hitting yeah, yeah. the house. So like, every day, people would be like, "Dude, stop!" Like everyone was like kind of like ragging on him all day, every day. Uh, fuck this guy. <laughs> he know. sounds awful. And then he would he would <laughs> check. He would. Practice his golf swing, and then he would come in and watch conspiracy videos yeah. and, and take mushrooms. And then he would eat yeah, me, and then he ate mushrooms last night, freaked out, and left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd get the fuck out of there. Dude. I wouldn't want to live with your brothers and you they being had, mean, dude. They fuck had, that. You're so mean. Yeah, fuck that. They had three or four roommates like in a row. Pure freak shows. Every single one of them was an army guy who smoked crack. <laughs> he stole from. He like got caught stealing from my brother's safe. <laughs> oh God! It was like a filing cabinet. So my brother woke up and his ears like crashing down the steps. And this guy was like laying there, like I've been asleep the whole time, dude. I swear, he, like <laughs> full clothes on at one a.m. <laughs> he just laid on the floor. and was like I'm out. Yeah. I was asleep. And yeah. the guy fucking Cristobal. He was this dude, a Russian guy who lived in Chile, which is weird. He was like you a, guys white, a fucking hostile. He was like a white Chilean, but he was like said he was of Russian descent, but from Chile. I, I don't know what this dude's deal was, but he uh, he loved my brother Tom. Really? He would like he would walk, he'd walk around in the town, pull the towel to his nipples. <laughs> really? <laughs> like Tom, I am so much stronger than you. Like, <laughs> 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 so we were like helping move him in. So him and my brother are lifting a couch up, and you know how people like, like you hold the bottom of a couch, just yeah. one corner. He grabbed with one corner, then held his wrist with his other hand. <laughs> I cannot lift it. I cannot lift it. 
<laughs> so my brother started making fun of him. And then like two weeks later, my brother was like, they're like the end of the whole thing. We forgot real weird. My brother just got out of the shower and he was like in the room. He dropped, <laughs> he dropped down, was getting changed. And he said he just saw this dude's corner of his head peek into his room. <laughs> I was like, Chris, what the fuck are you doing? He was like, I'm peeping on you. <laughs> he was like, get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm peeping on you. Jesus Christ, dude. That's so funny. That guy sounds great. Cristobal was Cristobal a man. sounds great. Cristobal put in a good, uh, he put in a good like three month chill in that house and he had to get out. But Wait, was, what do you think he's up to now? He like bummed around Drexel for a while then he went back to Chile I think. Dude, he was hmm. peeping on He's like, I'm peeping on you. My brother said, At least he was honest. <laughs> yeah, he, dude, he's very honest. Yeah, that's a good peep. It was funny, man. I peep on people like that. Dude, you peep Give on Tom. Peep. He, hey. he was obsessed with Tom's like physical strength and stuff. Really? He's like, you think you're strong but you're not Tom. You're not strong. I'm strong. Matt and Kevin are strong. Oh, you are not. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> my Burke was making fun of me. I think I said this last time. Burke uh, was making fun of us because all our impersonations just sound like Borat. I know, dude. Every I, time we do an impersonation, it's like, for me, <laughs> Tom, you are not strong. <laughs> that's I, exact, on, dude. Did I say this last time? No. You said anyway. something about Burke. We the rest of the for some this is this is probably not gonna be funny to yeah. anyone else, but this shit has been stuck in my head for over a week now. Yeah. Since I got back from New York. So we just started uh, you know, m- we were talking about Borat and how even though people say it like ironically now, mm-hmm. like they'll be like, My wife, ha ha yeah. like that's like a meme and like an ironic joke. Mm-hmm. It's still hilarious. That like, was Borat too. is still fucking hilarious. And then we started uh inserting my wife into Famous songs. Did you really? Like, no, just back and forth. It was very fun. And uh, <laughs> I've had this song stuck in my head. Billy Joel is fucking like, I don't care what you say anymore. This is my wife. <laughs> I don't know why. That's all right. I knew that wasn't going to be funny. <laughs> but any, anything with that. Watching you slide into that was nice. Dude. My wife. That was like, so there was Jim Carrey voice. Everyone was stoked on that for like 10 years. And then oh. went, everyone talked like Beavis and Butthead for a little while. Yeah, that's And then good. it was Cartman. You everyone, still got Cartman. I do a little Cartman every I now and again. I hear Cartman every once in a while. Cartman and then Borat was like, I couldn't, not talk, I couldn't stop talking like Borat for like a year. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was like everything I'd say. I would say that constantly. That's actually basically, now that you mention it, that's the range of your impersonations of people yeah like if it's a girl it's cartman voice <laughs> yeah, yeah. every time if it's a female impersonation you do cartman and then uh any any foreigner regardless if it's a russian chilean <laughs> like a tom you are very strong that's exactly how this guy talks <laughs> i'm peeping on you <laughs> nice there was this other dude who lived with him and uh he was in a band so he was like 19 years old, and he moved up with them. They're like fucking 30-year-old dudes living with a 19-year-old kid. That's hot. It was actually really funny. So this kid was in like a band, and he was like some guy. There was a neighbor up the street who would lie to him and tell him, like, I have connections in Hollywood, like, blah, 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 blah. I swear, I think he molested this dude. Really? Because I met him one time, and he was like, yeah, hey, man, well, he's like talking to me, and he's telling me like he like smuggles acid from Florida to Pennsylvania, and I'm like, yeah, that's not a fucking thing. Like you, that's just not, it's not true. So he was yeah. like lying. He's like, I'm, I was like, what do you do? He's like, I'm a pen professor. I smuggle acid. I'm an entertainment mogul. And I'm like looking at this guy. I'm looking at his apartment. I'm like, no, you're fucking not. And the kid was sitting there like, you, this guy's a fucking real dude. <laughs> oh, you think he fucked that kid? I think too. So he told this kid that was living with my brother that he, he was like, I set you up with, who's the guy? Tommy Lee. Yeah. The drummer. Yeah. He, Tommy Lee was starting a new band apparently. And he was like, yo, I got you on tour with Tommy Lee. You're going to tour Germany. So for three days, their one roommate oh. walked around with his shirt off, just like writhing around like Jim Morrison, like, oh, I'm probably going to be in Europe pretty soon, so you guys can have my room. I'm probably not going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> and the dude never called him ever again. <laughs> so all summer, like, dude, what the fuck? When do you leave to Germany? He's just like, fuck you guys, man. Who's so oh, about <laughs> damn, dude. Can you imagine being a kid and being like, He was 19 this on is the legit. cusp of like, I'm going to go with, of all people, fucking Tommy, Dav- Tommy Lee. <laughs> Tommy Davidson. <laughs> Tommy Lee. He thought he was about to go tour with Tommy Lee. Oh, man. That was so funny. That would suck to be like... Yeah, to think you're about to yes, be famous at 19. This is sick. <laughs> like, a bunch of 30-year-old dudes would be down like, to everybody. Fucking... <laughs> he was, dude. He'd be like, you can have my room if you want. I don't know. I might keep it. I'll probably get some checks when I'm on tour and like send them back here. We're like, yeah, I have, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So that was... Uh... Speaking of uh, Drexel. Yeah. Do you see that uh, the doctor? Who? Some doctor at Drexel's... 
medical, got in trouble because he was groping, uh, knocked out females. How did he get caught? I don't know. Not that that's my issue with the thing, but like, how the fuck do you get busted for that? I don't know. He was like the Kill Bill doctor. He was just grabbing tits. Which I, actually, I, th- I think that should be legal. Get a tit grab, doctor. If you're knocked out, no one else is in the room. Doctor's allowed to grab your tits. It should be like you have to pay fifty bucks extra. And it's like all right, I won't the doctor grab your tits. should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like fifty bucks, and I won't grab your tits. We'll make sure no one grabs your tits. I need to know how he got busted. I mean, he's probably on cam. The whole hospital. It's got to be a up. security camera. Damn, which has dude. to be the funniest footage ever. Oh, this fucking like, dude oh, <laughs> grabbing a fucking tit. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, look, this is this is not going to be a good take. Yeah, but and I, I don't think I would have a problem with it. But if someone grabbed, if it, like a super hot chick was, yeah, out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is not. A good Hold on, take. but you're the doctor, and you're the doctor. No one's around. You're a fucking fifty year old guy with like a shitty wife. Yeah, you got some hot Drexel student or some gorgeous fucking nineteen year old knocked out. With yeah, massive tits. You might give a little fucking. An what do these feel like? He definitely tested the waters. Yeah, like it was with elbow like nudge, unintentionally, yeah. like it's brushed like, into him. He like, gets your shoulder up here, and he's like, oh, gets like the top part, the yep. meat around like the uh, yep. armpit. Yeah, that's definitely something you ease your way into. I told you, dude, in grade school, I used to do that. What? When I was in grade school, we had our desks connected, and I, there was a girl who sat next to me with huge tits, and I would put my elbow. I mean, this is I've learned now this is sexual assault. When I was like a little kid, <laughs> I was in, like sixth grade. <laughs> And I would lean there like this and lean my elbows on her table and, like, touch her boob with my elbow. Nice. And let it chill, like, all during, like, grammar. Oh, like, like, shit. And then every now and again, she would finally, she's like, stop. And I was like, what? what I'm just, my elbows is on the table. I don't, what, I don't know. <laughs> oh. I don't know, know if you were she, as sly as you think. She hit me with a hard line, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, the elbow, it sat there for, like, three days. I was getting, like, tit on my elbow for, like, three days. And I'm like, dude, school is so fucking sick. Right then, now there's a lady in therapy. Just like, and then... Yeah, probably, dude. He would do, mash his elbows into my tits. <laughs> I'm a victim now. I would sit there, dude. Elbow out. Like, the most weird, That's uncomfortable sick. position. And be like... The old elbow. fucking tit to any part of your body hey, dude, is insane. hilarious. I would just feel it and be like... A hundred percent tit. I think that's her tit. And sweaters, the sweater would touch me, and I'd be like, "Oh fuck!" And all of a sudden, like I'd get like tit meat pressed in. I'd be like, <laughs> "Pull her back." We oh. skeetered off the edge. Things got ugly. Things got ugly. Um, sorry, I know you guys. I know that's such a fucking. That's a letdown for you guys. You guys want to hear what we're talking about, but yeah, you know, some things you got to keep to yourself. Yeah, you some things to, you got to delete. You need to grow up. Exactly. And not listen to us talk about an old sexual assault story from the Philly comedy community. Yeah, we uh, we try to do a little bit of like a serial type thing, like a mm-hmm. little bit of a, a mystery to it, but it was wasn't pretty, much of a mystery. Pretty lopsided case. <laughs> pretty open and shut case. We're trying show. to get like 18 episodes out of it. We can serial the other one. The other one has a little bit of mystery to it. Not sexual assault. And just Straight like up the assault. Good old fucking... Good old fisticuffs. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good serial episode. But anyway. that'd be one good one. We could just call them both and be like, "Dude, what's up?" No, that would be terrible. War of the Roses. Put them on oh, the line. Oh shit! Should I talk about that'd that? Be hilarious. We should War of the Roses them. We should definitely do that. We should do a War of the Roses that connects the assaultee and the assault tour. And be like, ah, "We're just kidding." <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Who are you gonna send him to? Oh my god, he's not sending him to you. That'd be sick. <laughs> it's really funny. I, I hope that people know what we're talking. War of the Roses is this corny ass fucking radio thing where uh, they they call somebody or somebody calls into the station and is like, I think my boyfriend's cheating on me. And the game is now the radio station calls the boyfriend and they're like, Hey, you just want a dozen free roses. Who do you want to send them to? As kind of a test to see if he sends them to his girlfriend or not. And uh, I recently was requested to be on this uh-huh. because it turns out those are all actors <laughs> this whole time i thought those were real people but uh they they emailed me and were like do will you do this and i i had to i had to say no pulled out i couldn't i couldn't be like yeah i'll i'll, I'll pretend to be like send him over to fucking monica oh my god and then dude. have a fake girlfriend <laughs> get on and be like what who the fuck is monica whoa who's this fuck you bitch fuck you shay i don't even care about you bitch <laughs> That'd be you cheated fun, on me with Tommy Brinkler in high school. <laughs> That'd be nice, though, to contact victims of assault 
and, and have them yeah have them war the roses there and have the rose, assault tour have the have the roses have the, be like who are you gonna send them to be like uh my my current wife <laughs> oh, oh, oh fuck you <laughs> the girl just like hangs up he's like oh hey wait uh, uh. that's nice yeah it'd be nice and it's hanging be like all right Hollywood Matt yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah baby Chio in the morning. I got I got nothing. I I'm, started a beef one time. I'm between too tired the, right now. Did I tell you I started beef one time between Chio and Preston? No. I at least attempted to. I called. I used to call radio. Who the fuck's Chio? Chio in the morning. He used to be on Q102. Well, he's just some fucking dork from the yeah. radio. But I used to call him all the time and call Preston Elliott. Or is that his name? Yeah, Preston Elliott. And I used to talk shit. I used to call him saying I was from <laughs> Chio to Preston Elliott. And be like, yo, why are you guys stealing our fucking segments? And they're like, we didn't steal your shit from you guys. You guys took our shit. I'm like, fuck you guys. Stop stealing our shit. And I had them like, we talked about this before, dude. We're not taking anything from Dude, it was so fucking Damn. funny. That's sick. We, you should keep doing that. That's hilarious. I should keep that going. That's I used really to call great. radio stations constantly and fuck with them. You used to call radio stations? I used to fuck with them constantly. I would drive into work in the morning at 6.30 and call and be like, you better stop stealing our fucking shit, Gio. <laughs> fuck you. This is fucking the intern for Preston and Steve. And he'd be like, whoa, who, who the hell is this? <laughs> Fucking asshole. That's awesome. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah, that's really great. That's yeah. funny that you would call into radio just to bother them. Just to bother <laughs> just them. To ruin their shit. Yeah. Oh, man. But yeah. yeah, like I was saying, this is this is too early for me. Too early? Right early now. Early squirrely. I'm like, I'm, when I wake up early, I'm tired the whole day. Are you really? Like, just mentally, I feel Off. stuffy. That's, that's what I feel when I stay up too late. I really? feel fucked up all I'm, day. I'm a pure fucking night owl. When I wake up with the sun, dude, I'm energized. I can't be around the sun. Really? The sun you might is... be a vamp, dude. I'm slowly turning into a vamp. That'd be sick. That'd be cool. You should bite someone. That's the only time sexual assault's okay. If you're a vampire. When you're a thousand-year-old vampire and you bite a woman. <laughs> turn her into a vamp. <laughs> you That's... love vamps, dude. I forgot. You love, all I, all I love watch. the sexual psychology of all, vamps. All I watch is fucking the, uh, the originals. It's a, sp- it's a spin-off of the Vampire Diaries. Why are you watching this shit? I watch it with my girlfriend, dude. It's God a favorite show. damn it, dude. It's so funny, dude. My fucking bae knows the rules. Of if what? I'm even in the house, TV is mine, dude. Oh, no, I don't she do that. She gets no fucking say. We split. I watched The Deuce is My Show. Which, dude, you watch The Deuce yet? I haven't watched it yet. Dude. I know. I was I was watching Curb and Vice Principals. Two good shows. The but, goats. dude, The Deuce, it's all about basically pimping and like the, the start of porn when like porn mm-hmm. first became legal. And they had the—I didn't know idea—they had the like the movie theaters, like the gay movie theaters, yeah. the hetero movie theaters, and like the hetero beat off in there. Dude, the hookers would sit in there. Ooh. And just fucking blow guys. But then they have the gay movie theaters. That's and, fucking cool. Yeah, it's fucking. I walked by one fucking unknowingly for years down on Twenty Third Market. I didn't know that's what was going on. Wow. Sure. Yeah. So then the uh, <laughs> the, uh, the last you week, would have been all over that, dude. It, it's full. If there of, were hookers in there blowing people. I'm watching this movie like fuck, or the show being like, dude, that's fucking awesome. You just yeah. you're, you're just in there watching porn, and some lady comes up to you like, "Want me to suck your dick?" And you're like, "Yeah, yeah, of course, please." Twenty bucks. Yeah. So then, but they they had the gay one. That was you know the yin and the yang. It's all good yeah, ideas. What's going on over there? Same oh, yeah. thing, but it's just the boys, dude. It's just, just boys, dude. This guy's watching it. And this guy, older guy, like accountant, comes up and he's like, "Do do you are you liking the movie?" And he's just like, "Go ahead." And the guy's like, "Ah." I'm like, oh. Ugh. HBO, I don't know if I like HBO, that. dude. I'm telling you, that's their fucking sinister recipe. It's like, here's an awesome show. And you're like, I love the show. And they're like, now you got to watch guys butt fuck. And you're like, come hey, in. <laughs> I don't want to watch this. <clears throat> Every fucking show they have is like. Yeah, Game of Thrones will toss some gay sex at you. Constantly, dude. The, the, where did I see the most dong recently? Ozark had a, some tough. That Ozark wasn't, had that some wasn't serious HBO, stuff. But yes. Where did I see some serious. Yeah, Ozark had some. Yeah, the Deuce had some fucking dong. I haven't seen the Deuce yet. It's pretty good. I'm excited. About it. Now, the reason I control the TV in the house, yeah, <clears throat> is just because it's not like it's me saying you can't watch it. Like she just refuses to watch it in front of me because I make fun of it. Like whatever she likes, yeah. she won't do it in front of me. Yeah, I try. I used to do it that. Seems unhealthy. I used to. Well, I stopped because I used to make fun of stuff real badly, and then like if I even if I'm like listening to a song and someone doesn't like it, I just fuck it. Like literally, I can't watch. You can't even listen to the song anymore. Yeah, I'm just yeah, like, yeah. Fucking sucks. She, uh, sucks. We got in the car the other day, and her Bluetooth, it was her car, and her yeah. Bluetooth hooked up to her phone, so it just started automatically playing her shit. Oh, and it man. was like fucking Ed Sheeran or something. Yeah. And I was like, keep playing this. And she was like, no, turn it the fuck Like, she freaked out to turn it off. <laughs> so I was like, Ed Sheeran fucking blows. You listen to this shit? I was like, what are you, fucking 15? 
Dude, girls love. And then I put on like hardcore rap, and she's like, "All right." That's so funny. All right, though. tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> girls do like the fun, like dude. That's the Ed Sheeran, all that stuff. Maroon Five. It's whatever is yeah. in there. There's a formula for like getting girls to like songs. And all you have to do is sing about, like, I will love you forever. And they're like, yeah. this song's great. You're the only one in the entire <laughs> world. You're so beautiful. Like, yes. I never get weird boners for other girls. Yeah, like, it's, <laughs> just, it's just the fucking princess <laughs> mentality. Of, like, yeah. they're raised on the fucking one princess. Yeah. You're a princess. You're, You're a magical. Woman. Yeah. That and was, then they uh, turn on fucking Maroon 5 and Ed Sheeran, and they're like, you're a princess. Like, yes, I remember this. I used to have a jasmine tent. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. Think about your hot cousin in that fucking that adopted mm. cousin in that jasmine mm. tent, dude. Whew. Mm. How old are we talking now? We're talking. I just had a bump, bump, bump. <laughs> yeah, you had to bump it up. 24. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was shooting low. I was like, yeah, I was like, we're both low. We're both I was like, oh, dude, I'm talking. And I was like, the fucking My Little Pony started fading <laughs> off the walls. I'm like, place with hot guys with abs. I'm like, you're 19? doing the Inception building fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. scene, <laughs> shooing away fucking <laughs> ribbons and shit. Yeah, that's uh, well, kids can be hot. Speaking of hot yeah. fucking kids, who Drexel. Good lord, dude. God damn. There, all right. Uh, Caitlin's going to hear this and be upset with me. Okay. But there was a girl in there. And it wasn't, I wasn't trying to fucking, I wasn't in love with her. I wasn't talking to her. Relax, Caitlin. He wasn't in love with you're her. You're the only one, girl. <laughs> you're number one. Even though your taste in movies and TV sucks, dick. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> fucking... This girl, so like it was, it was like my spidey senses. It yeah. was unreal. So I was there late. It was like ten when I was there. I was crushing the elliptical. Yeah, balling out, just popping it off People the tracks. You're, you're probably it. moving around the gym. It was smoking. The elliptical. It was smoking. Yeah, it was. It was shifting quite a bit. <laughs> you're like a transformer just walking around. <laughs> but uh, I just, for some reason, I just turned around and looked the other side of the, not the other side of the gym, but like it's rectangular. So I looked at the other side. And Jillian Michaels is and right behind you. There was a girl. With, like, the type of yoga pants you see, like, in porn. Like, a joke. It was unreal. Uh, with, with, like, the pieces with missing? the fattest fucking ass. <gasps> it looked like a... Like an Instagram model type... It was crazy. I've never seen anything like I'll it. I'll give you a porn category. It was... I'll let me give you a yeah, porn I category. Yeah, you rip open those women, yoga pants. No, no. Women <laughs> squirting out of yoga pants. Ooh, I think Ooh. they're just peeing their pants, but that's... Whatever, not. dude. <laughs> Whatever. I've seen that. They're just pissing their pants. <laughs> Whatever. But, uh... Yeah, I've seen that. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Lost my train of thought. Anyway, uh, so this fucking she was so fucking hot that I honestly considered because six six and I were texting. Yeah. he was at home watching the Bears Vikings, sending me like clips of the game. <laughs> he was like, "Look at this hit!" I was oh like, my oh, god! Sweet. I honestly almost took a picture of this girl. Yeah, she was that fucking hot. Dude, if you got, I, I, I almost risked it all at Drexel. You would have gotten my. Gym I would have gotten arrested. <laughs> I would have gotten that would have been assault, dude. That was on a college campus. I'm if, fucking if 29. You just, what if you just did like a selfie and like happened to get her in the background? I mean, it would have been clear. There, we, 4, we, there were like percent. there were like four people at the gym in the entire thing. Did you ever do that? Did you ever clear. take a sneaky pick and have your I've flash never go taken off? A, I've never taken a sneaky Not of a pick. I'm just saying just in general of something like funny. I was with a guy when he did that, and it was fucking hilarious. I did it one morning. <laughs> Full flash. Dude. And the girl was like, what the fuck? I did it one morning. I was in a Dunkin' Donuts at like, oh, so flash <laughs> dude, it was like seven ten in the morning. I remember I, was, I had to get to work at seven thirty. I, I remember I was on time. It was like right before work, seven o'clock in Dunkin' Donuts, and there was this fucking dude and there's big fat fucking guy, huge dude, waddles up to the counter and it's him in front of all the donuts. I'm like, God, <laughs> this is such a funny picture. So I went to take it. And the whole place just went. What did you just explode it in a flash? And I was like, Oh fuck. <laughs> People turned around like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, man. I was with, it was, I was after, after a show, I was at a bar with this comic, and he fucking, he, this girl was sitting, it was a small room, and this girl was sitting at the other side. Yeah. It was like a pub that was like in a house, for some reason. Like, the okay. up, yeah, upstairs yeah, yeah. was like a living room. Gotcha. So we were just sitting on a couch, she was on the other couch by herself. She was pretty hot, but not like not pictured. Not this guy fucking turning around and taking a picture of her with his flash on. 
Oh my <laughs> she, god. She, it was enough that she got up and was like, delete that right now. Let me see that. Fucking delete that. Really? And he was like, oh, I was just taking a picture of the, the mirror. Because she was sitting behind a mirror. Uh, and she was like, no, you fucking weren't. And I was with him. I was like, no, he wasn't. <laughs> delete that, you fucking creep. What was she wearing? Uh, I don't remember. Was, was he trying a, to catch an upskirt? No, he was just taking a picture of her sitting there. I had a kid in my grade school got busted for the old mirror on the shoe. Oh, uh, what? He he did that? He, he, he actually a fucking did idiot? It. He actually did it. He got busted. Yeah, of course you could bust A kid in my grade Everyone school, he would be like, check this out. And he would just stick his... We, I went to Catholic school, so it was all dresses. Yeah, so yeah, So he would fucking just stick his foot out with a mirror, and you'd be like, yo... I remember being like, what? And the teacher called him in like an hour afterwards. <laughs> like, yo, get that off your foot. <laughs> it was during the prayer. We'd all stand up to say the prayer, and he would go like this. He'd be like... Psst. Damn. He'd go like that. During the fucking Our Father. Dude. I think he during like the Pledge of Allegiance, this dude was like checking panties. That's how you show respect to America. <laughs> I know. That's, that's better than taking a knee. That's better than everything. Just upskirts? Yeah. Um, but yeah, back to the hot Drexel chick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what happened? Nothing. She left and I, I watched her the whole way walk out. I <laughs> think we made eye contact like five times <laughs> and I kept looking away. But, uh. It, it was just it was just funny to see like it's like what the fuck are you she was wearing like a sports bra and like it was crazy it yeah was crazy. man that's I see that a lot when I go to the gym when it's just like full on spandex what are you doing? leaned over butt exercises and it's like all right I get it you're working out dude yeah, you're it's hot. like Jesus fucking Christ like enough yeah it's uh but then again I mean it's even funny when a guy's hot too yeah like I went in to to get my fucking morning coffee today yeah. And uh, there's just this hot ass dude working at the uh, Saxby's by our house. He's hot he as so fuck. fucking hot. It was so funny. That is funny. Like dude. I just looked at him. I was like, "What a faggot!" <laughs> like, look at this fucking guy just going around. Like, hey, what's oh, going on? Cool, totally. I work down at Saxby's. It's pretty sweet. Oh, uh, yeah. That's us. It is when hot guys go to the gym. There's a lot of guys who wear like fucking spandex suits yeah, yeah, to the yeah. gym, and it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Dressed like Spider-Man, hit the gym. <laughs> yeah, and you usually wear like a painter's outfit and do pull-ups. <laughs> I wear nothing but cargo. Ca- I got actually reprimanded at the gym. For what? Because I wore fucking cargo khaki shorts. And they're like, you can't have zippers or buttons. I'm like, dude, just suck the fuck oh, out of here. Oh, wow. Get out of my fucking way. Did you say get the fuck out of my face and you chalked up your hands? Yeah, I chalked my fucking hands, slammed the weights. <laughs> I'm a, I told you I'm a lunk, dude. The yellow light goes off on me. Are you lunking? What's, what's the name of your gym? Uh, well, now I'm going to Philly Sports Club. <sighs> Philadelphians, I still, I still if you want to Drexel. catch Matt being a fucking absolute weirdo, a lunk, dude. come down to Philadelphia Sports Gym. <laughs> you want to see a guy do pull-ups in cargo pants? Yep. Here's your, here's some, your man. Got some cargs on right now. Are you rocking cargs? Cargo fucking Oh, cat. shit. He's got cargo camo pants yeah, on. I'm wearing these at the gym right after, dude. Are you really? Yeah. You're going to wear cargo, long cargo <laughs> camouflage yeah. pants to the gym? I've done it before. That's the craziest shit in the world. Yeah, it's sick, dude. That's the equivalent of the guy who wears jeans to basketball. <laughs> Dude, it really is. That like, guy, you, that guy's fucking weird. Always the best guy on the court. That guy's always the worst. <laughs> always, but he plays the hardest defense. Yeah. He's always fucking like scrappy. You always about to say you can. Ne- if you play against a guy in jeans, you're going to get at least a couple scratches. Yeah, you're getting. Fouled. Yeah, he always has long fucked up nails. No blood, like- no foul, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're literally bleeding. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to clear that up because I know Caitlin's going to about be that fucking- super hot chick. Yeah, there was just a hot chick that was. It was funny to see her yeah. out. Well, it's I mean, it's just course. funny to be like, what do you think? You're fucking slick. We know what you're doing. Yeah. That, you're dude, just being I, a hot lady at the gym. What the fuck? Well, that's a whole, th- I mean, that's a whole thing too, that like, like you never get in, in a guy's life, like waking up being like, do I look pretty today? It's not really, you know, it's not really going through your head. No. But that's like a fucking serious focus for yeah. girls. So like to be, to attract that kind of attention is like a big deal. Well, yeah, and I'm I'm not used to that. I'm not used to going to the gym with girls being around. True. The only time I ever went to the gym in my life, all bros. Yeah. And you can just fucking lift, and that's it. Yeah. You don't. You're not worried well, plus, about. Dude, there's no competition when there's hot chicks in the gym. Yep. Then the dudes get a little fucking weird. It, dude, it's pr- and and they're like they're all pumped yeah, up. Yeah. Then there's some fucking. It's a weird environment, man. It is a. The gym is very weird. If I lift literally, if I lift once for the next three days, I walk around just like I'm fucking huge. I feel I walk <laughs> yeah, when dude. I'm lifting in that gym and I see hot chicks. I'm like arms all the way out, just like oh my god, what's up? I'm the ultimate <gasps> eunuch in there. <laughs> dude, I go in. I'm fucking old and fat and pale. I just go in in like a baggy West Virginia T-shirt, 
hit the elliptical, <laughs> get the fuck out. He's got a big gulp I have on it. Zero fucking sexuality, dude. I'm I I can't. I walk around in there and you I'm just like, ooze oh, fucking, I'm the fucking sexuality, biggest, dude. dude. I feel huge. If I lift it all, I feel enormous, dude. You are you still getting swole? I'm getting swole, yeah. dude. Holy shit, Matt is fucking I'm swole, fucking dude. Yeah, I have the opposite of body dysmorphia. If I lift once, I'm like, oh, I'm fucking jacked for three yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I lost some weight. I lost a yeah, little weight. Yeah, you slimmed down a little. I did slim a little. I gained. I, I gained, like, nice. gained like 10 I need to. I need to lose about a good uh, 40 more pounds <laughs> before I'm, uh, I'm, just, I'm a trying human. To get, I'm trying to get jacked enough to where, like, when I inevitably fail to reach my mark in entertainment, I can murder suicide my whole family and they'll be like, oh CTEs. Benoit, dude. CTEs de- <laughs> yeah, like this dude definitely you had Benoit, Benoit. these motherfuckers. <laughs> well you gotta be jacked. Otherwise you're just like a white nerd. If you're jacked, you're like, dude, he clearly had fucking CTEs. You yeah, can get true. away with anything, dude. If that you, guy who was snorting the Coke? The oh, fucking that guy's Miami the best. Coke? Guy has CTEs. No, dude. that guy's the fuck he that. Help. That guy's the fucking best, dude. <laughs> He's just doing Coke off a chick. Wasn't he like, I wish this was your pussy right now. <laughs> yeah. It's like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking sick. That guy definitely went to a strip club, fell in love with the stripper. She gave him a little bit of coke, and he was just fucking sprung, dude. He's, I would just was your pussy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Such a white guy fucking thing to say. He's doing his teeny lines. Of, dude, that video, you have to see that video. I didn't man. watch it yet. I've seen, I've seen stills of it. Have you seen the video? I haven't seen it. What? I have it right on my phone. Fire it up. I'd dude, love to see holy it. shit. It's so fucking funny. So this is a Miami Dolphins offensive line coach, I think? Yeah. That's sick. Just, Offensive line coaches are the best. So this this is the... Uh, it's the best coach on the team. This is the guy just fucking getting into it. Hey, babe. Miss you. Thinking about you. How about me going to a meeting and doing this before I go? <laughs> There's those big brains falling. But I miss you. I miss you a lot, Yes, dude. You think it's fucked up? I think not. I wish I was looking this off your pussy. Dude, what the fuck was that? That's how you get your girl wet, dude. Send her a video you... of you doing like three tiny lines of yeah. coke off your <laughs> desk. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that guy That's thinking? how you get pussy, dude. That makes no sense. I, dude, I'm telling you, my, uh, that makes no my fucking spidey sense. sense tells me that he met a stripper... Fell in love with her. They did a little coke, and he was there. He was probably on like a team trip to like wherever the fuck they were. Yeah, that's why he was like, "We won't be able to do this again for a long time." But I'm thinking about you whenever I do. He probably fucking met some little hot Puerto Rican bro. She's like, "Try this, Poppy," and he was like, "Yeah, the Dolphins only go 14." <laughs> <laughs> the Dolphins, they fucking suck. That's so funny. Got a coked out coach. Oh, dude, <laughs> that's actually great. To have like a coked out line coach. Yeah. Dude, we're going on again. Yeah, he get you fired up. Dude, he was probably so funny in that meeting. He probably unbuttoned like three of his buttons and was like, oh, whatever, whatever you guys want to do. He's like a fucking, <sighs> he's like a nerd that's doing drugs for the first time. Yeah. He's like, you see this? You think this is cool? You see what I'm doing right now? <laughs> you probably think I'm crazy. I wish we were kissing. <laughs> I wish I could make out with you right now. Touch your boobs. <laughs> it is funny because he's doing the tiniest little lines of coke. And he's like, oh, yeah. you probably think I'm crazy right now. You think I'm crazy doing this before a meeting. I wish this was your pussy. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? The meeting's probably hilarious. You're like, we need better blocking. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, we're going to get good blocking. <laughs> we're going to have the best. <laughs> yeah. He did have a, uh, an air of Trump to him. Yeah. His weird tone and the way he spoke, it was very odd. That's he's dude. Like, you and me, we have fun. We have so much fun. <laughs> we can have fun. I wish I was doing this off with your pussy. That was, that was every white guy when Trump won. Every morning, all that morning, we all woke up and were like, oh, you probably think I'm crazy for this. Yeah, I'm you? crazy for this Trump victory. <laughs> I'm going to do some cocaine. I wish this was right off your butt. I'm going to fucking kiss your butt cheeks. 
I'm gonna start sending. I gotta start sending shit like that to my girlfriend. I mean, I think that guy lost his job not because of doing coke, but because how fucking corny he was. You think? Yeah, I mean, that he was got caught... the, the sheer embarrassment of being around NFL players and oh, being that fucking God. gay. Yeah. If that guy was my coach, I'd be like, dude, you were a fucking well, idiot. If you got caught doing coke, I'd have been like, all right, you know, we'll work. But that video, dude, of him being like, yeah, I'm doing this before a meeting. You probably think I'm crazy, right? I'm gonna lick this off your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> There's one part where he like makes direct eye contact with the camera. And I like, know, and we have a lot of fun together. So much fun, dude. She definitely fucking gave the video up. She was like, "Oh, that's hilarious." There was some girl oh, yeah. who was like, "Look at this moron!" Like this guy. She was showing her friends like that's Miami Dolphins coach. And she was like, "I'm gonna give this to the Daily Mail." He was like, <laughs> "Fuck!" Oh, that stripper would safeguard my fucking dangerous well, yeah, video. What a fucking stupid video to just be like, "Hey, here's the most incriminating thing I have." Yeah, I'll give this to you. Yeah. Stranger, la- strange lady that I'm probably cheating on my wife and with. What a fucking unseductive video of just you doing coke. True. There's nothing. Well, that's a weird, like, yeah. And I don't. What, I don't crazy. You think I'm crazy? That's a weird, like, coke couple thing where it's like I'm wild. I'm fast. I'm gonna do this coke in my desk and head on to the office. I thought once you were like 25, if someone did coke around you, you were just like, oh, cool. No <laughs> like, one's impressed by you doing. No, coke. not at all. <laughs> but I'm telling you, when that guy probably. Is what, like 55? Someone, some lady gave him coke, and he was probably like, this stuff's fucking great. This guy's the best. This chick's the best. <laughs> There's no way he's turning I this. I love her. There's no way he's turning this around. You, he, he's he's, gonna all, go to rehab. he's gone, dude. Oh, dude, he's going to start smoking crack. Yeah. The fact that that video surfaced, Yeah, he's, he's just going to become a full vagabond. Yeah. He's going to find his girl, though. He's going to fuck he's that gonna, chick up He should kill that. her. That's you f- do that's some blow fu- and kill her. That's a fucked up leak. That is. That's like that's the equivalent to leaking a female's nudes. How like those those women actresses get their nudes leaked? It's like somebody hacks those usually. You think someone hacked his fucking coke video? I think that Puerto Rican stripper <laughs> hacked the, her own <laughs> cell phone. <laughs> she hacked her fucking Metro PCS dude and sent that thing out. Dude, that was that was for the victims of the hurricane. You think he was doing that? For, you think it, he was doing for the victims? Like, yeah, just, just get your power back on, Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine uh, the magnitude of having a video like that spread about, like, have that spread about you? The fucking, no, I can't. Dude, I, I had a, I was up, I tried to go to bed early last night. I went to bed at, like, 1. Mm-hmm. I had a fucking panic attack, basically, till 4 a.m. Oh, you had a long Not a panic one. attack, but just, I, I couldn't, mean. couldn't go to sleep. Yeah. It ended up like fucking Googling people from my past and like see what they're doing. <laughs> I'm like, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was not so funny if you made the exact same video last night. You're in your phone right now. Like, it's fucking weird. <laughs> the anxiety of just a regular, I was totally sober. Uh huh. Just a regular day anxiety gets yeah. me. Imagine the anxiety of waking up and being like, what in the fuck did I send that for? Yeah. You'd have to call her and be like, please, God, I'll do anything. Delete that. Yeah, but it's too late, dude. That thing hits the yeah. net. It hits the Daily Mail, dude. You're gone. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. Just enough of being like, am I on the right track and laying in bed like, oh. I wouldn't. I would not be upset about using cocaine. I would be upset about how fucking corny that guy is. The, like, I'd be like, damn. Like, it's, it's just like, it's just like when they catch someone cheating yeah, or like a politician and then they read the texts. Like when Wiener got caught, dude? Yeah. When they read out the texts, oh. it's, I wouldn't be embarrassed as much as when they're like, oh yeah, baby, that sounds hot. I'd love to see your titties. Oh, <laughs> like when they, man. when some local news reads your text on the news. Dude, that, uh, I told you about one of my exes when her dad <laughs> cheated, right? No. I told you about that, didn't I? When I was I was dating this girl when I was younger, and her dad got caught cheating, so like they kicked him out. Yeah, and I hit this me and this dude didn't get along at all. So like oh, he I came back. I think I, I told this. you about this, but I didn't tell you the other yeah. part. So he got he was cheating with his neighbor across the street. Fuck yeah! And the neighbor, the girl had a bisexual husband who was getting his freak on as well. Fuck yeah! <laughs> yeah Shout dude. out Alex Perlman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then like there was another guy who lived in the neighborhood who got caught. Like the, all the wives like descended on their hus- husbands yeah. finding out. So one guy got caught leaking like nudes to this lady. Like all these dudes found out like the party was on with this lady. So like leaking news and shit, but the guy came back, and the lady read one of it. He was sending her love letters, so she hacked his email and found he was sending her like Beatles or like uh, yeah, who's that? Who sings that? The Beach Boys. Wouldn't it be nice? 
Oh, he wrote the fuck. lyrics and like added their names in throughout the lyrics, dude. It was so fucking gay. And she's reading this. This guy, his head's down. He's just like, I know, I know. Oh. I'm, I'm 17. I'm just sitting there like, yo, oh. bro, yo, dude, bro. I told you I was gay when I was younger. I wrote some poems. If any of those yeah, but things, you were 17, it doesn't 50. matter. If any of those <laughs> resurface, I am fucking devastated. <laughs> the one my ex girlfriend sent me one that I wrote to her. Like mocking me. It's just a, a few scr- years it's ago. It's just a script of like you it think was, I'm crazy for doing this here. It, don't was, you? it was basically that, dude. It was so <laughs> fucking bad. And I was like, I, te- I was like, you need to destroy that. You please destroy that. <laughs> oh, how many are out there? I got a couple floating around. I wrote love letters in high school to this girl. I wrote a a poem in college. Nice. When I was with my, it must have been sick, dude. It was. So, I mean, it was. Does she still have it? She had it, uh, like... She didn't destroy it. Four years ago? She still had it? She still has it. She probably no, she probably it. destroyed it now, but... She probably folded it up and put it in a locket in But, good lord. Can you know any of the bars? <laughs> <laughs> of course I know the fucking bars, dude. You think I'm gonna fucking recite them on here? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm remembering them now. It's, it's fucking killing me, dude. <laughs> give me, give me like two bars, no, dude. Even one, <laughs> me, dude. I would be so embarrassed. Shades about to puke mom spaghetti right now, dude. I'm so fucking embarrassed, dude. Dude, you only oh, get one fucking, chance, dude. You only... I, I should get ahead of the story. <laughs> I should get ahead. You only of this. get one chance, dude. Do you like B Rabbit right now? You gotta recite your love poem. I cannot. I cannot re- re- recite my love poem, dude. Please recite it's, your love poetry. I can't, dude. There's no way I can. Roses are red. No. <laughs> I was a fucking than... great poet, dude. Damn. It was really good. But, uh... Can I oh. guess words that were in it? You have to tell me if they're in there or not? Go ahead. Eternal? No. Okay. <laughs> Is that the only one you had locked up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no eternal. I wasn't... I wasn't... Oh, man. Anyway, oh let's God. get the fuck off this subject. Anything about the pouring rain? No. Okay. Uh, hearts? <laughs> I don't think hearts. I don't think hearts. I don't think I was very cliche. Corazon? No. Spanish? Oh, Although Spanish might have... Spain- 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 it was right around that period yeah. where I was getting into Spain. Flowers? No flowers. Ocean? It was a lot of literary references. Okay. Which makes it... That's what's even more embarrassing <laughs> about it. I, like, referenced all of my favorite books in it. Oh, my God. Like... I, I just can't. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Mechanical hound was in there. <laughs> that, was, that was two words that were in that poem. Mechanical um, hound. And that was the autobiography of Anne Frank. <laughs> oh, of course. I was like, I'd love to hide in the attic with, with you. you. <laughs> I'd love to storm your attic. I'd say, aren't we crazy for this? <laughs> hide from the Nazis up here. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> I, I told you, I already said that before. My brother found my stash of love letters. Oh, my God. I beat his fucking ass, dude. He I, I wish there was everyone. somebody I could beat up for this. Yeah, beat up her. I can't beat anybody up for this. Beat her up. No, this is all my doing. True. No little brother exposed well, how me. How old are you? I was fucking eight. I was late, too. I transferred like four times in college. Oh, this was in I was college. like 23. I was uh, like 22. That's sick, dude. No, it's really fucking you embarrassing. gotta read it all. You have really? To, well, it was like... Do you have the whole thing committed to memory? No. No. Dude, that is so funny. That's that's devastating. What? That poem. I wrote poems online when I was younger. Yeah, but you're talking you're talking like young, like nineteen eighth grade. Oh, yeah. never mind. Yeah. Nineteen, eighteen. <sighs> I wrote sick fucking poems. Imagine dude. getting your hands on one of those. I'll fucking pull it up right now. My bars are fucking. No, sick, you dude. won't. You're yeah, fucking. I fucking you're, will. No, you you still have your own poetry? It, I put it online, dude, on storymash.com. What? Yeah, dude. You you released poems yeah. about love? I st- well, it's not about love, dude. <clears throat> All right. Well, then fuck that. True. It's not as embarrassing. Although, yeah, fire it up. I'd like to hear one of your poems. So <laughs> I, I did just left you off the hook there. I'm not fucking read it. Read it. You got to read it to the listener. I'll see if I can find it. Listener, do you have any gay poems? Let if me so. See. Yeah, call them in right now. Call them. But you can't call us. <clears throat> I'd have to find them. Oh, shit. Where are we at time wise? We gotta be uh, done. We gotta be done by this, right? Let me say, yeah. I think this has gotta be like fine. an hour and a half. No, nah, we're at fifty four minutes. Oh, was, oh yeah, because we deleted about a half this, hour. Well, we deleted our serial podcast. Very spooky podcast. Yeah, that earlier. was dude. That was serial. Yeah, that was. Uh, but um, yeah. I, again, it's like in fucking To Catch a Predator. Yeah. 
the most embarrassing part is when they're reading the fucking uh. text. If you like, have if you ever sexed anybody or anything like that? If somebody yeah. reads what you wrote, oh, dude, it'd be fucking done. It's it's unbelievably dude, embarrassing. So this happened to me. Oh boy. Speaking of which, yeah, the day this is the worst fucking timing. The day, the night before, I was moving in new place with the girlfriend, dude. New beginnings, everything's going well. I had this new phone, so she uploaded all my shit on there. Mm-hmm. So she's going through all my mm-hmm. pictures and videos and all yeah, this stuff. Yeah, I know about this. You hear about this? No, I'm just saying. Oh, dude. So it's like the KGB, dude. You got to hide that info. I, I like, so like we were broken up. State. We were broken up. I was doing my online dating, and some girls, girls would like send me a picture of yourself. <laughs> oh, no. So I would never, I would just send a video. I'd be like, yo, it's me, blah, 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 blah. Like, I'm not sending a picture. So I have this video, dude. It's me be like, hey, and like. So she pulls it up and goes, what's this? And starts to play it. And I was like, no. Snag Let it me hear her. what you said in the video. Literally, I know you remember it. It was just me being like, hey, it's me. It was the 20-year-old, dude. So I was like, sorry, I look so old. I haven't really slept last night. Uh, but yeah, it's me. What's up? It was real quick. It All was right. just me fucking around. All right. And uh, I was like, I look like a geezer. But she, I was, she was like, what was that? And I was like, it was just like a video I sent to some girl I went on a date with. She's like, let me watch it. And I was like, no. And dude, like her roommate sat there and was probably like, what the fuck? Oh, God. So that, yeah, we had an icy fucking night before we moved downstairs. We oh, just sat. God. I'm like, it was, we weren't together. She's like, I know. She's like, why won't you let me see it? I was like, it's fucking weird. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Damn, you sent a video? Yeah, dude. Introductory that's video. That's a fucking weird thing. It's a sick move. I don't want to, I'm not sending a selfie, dude. I, I hate taking pictures of myself. True. So she's like, send me, she, and like, on the internet, it's like you gotta prove you're a real person. Mm-hmm. So I was like, "Well, I'll send a fucking vid." Damn, that's weird, dude. I, I internet like, dating's fucking gotta be dating, gotta be so weird. It is weird. I'm, n- I'm never. It's weird until you get head and you're like, "Whoa, this is fucking <laughs> sick." <laughs> you're like, uh, "This is sick." <laughs> oh, man. yeah, yeah that's sir. Fair. If I mean, that's again, that's the worst part of to catch a predator. Watching them, not those even them guys trying fucking, to fuck a kid. It's, that crime is not as heinous as the stuff they wrote. The atrocity that Chris Hansen commits when he—he's the most guilty person. True, there. reading when that shit out reads loud. Somebody's sex out loud on television. It's like, oh yeah, baby, I could teach you what a real man does. <laughs> from crazy for the gnats, <laughs> like from Washington Wizards fan. <laughs> like, oh man. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah is... baby, do you ever masturbate? What do you think of when you masturbate? Didn't he get caught like cheating on his wife? Yeah, he did something, yeah. Old Hanson's a little. I mean, you can't. That's karma, dude. Of course. Imagine the enemies, dude. Who? There's probably a fucking like Batman. There's tower. probably ninety retards and a bunch of Indian dudes <laughs> that are coming for his fucking throat. There's a whole I'd network. Kill him. I would. I'd fucking go. That's out murder that worthy, guy. dude. I mean, again. Granted, you were wrong in the you first were wrong. place. Trying to fuck a kid. You were trying to fuck a kid. Now, if you're from a third world country, you got to go samurai sword that guy's That's fucking p- head off. Because you weren't doing anything wrong at that point. You were point. doing a purely legal thing. You came to America for hot young chicks. Yes. And this dude puts you. Imagine that, dude. Imagine you're some fucking Mexican. They got they got some lads on that show. They trapped oh, a they couple lads. Oh, they got a lot of Indian dudes. Too. Lads and Indians. Yeah. Is their fucking. You're you're from a f- third world country. Yeah. A hot fifteen year old is fair game. Hot fifteen year olds, a hot fifteen year old. You can fucking marry a fifteen year old over there. Yeah, you can fuck her and be like, yeah, that's. You can marry too. She is a beautiful girl. <laughs> she is my wife now. <laughs> I don't care what you say anymore. <laughs> this is my wife. <laughs> but uh, and then yeah, you get man. to America, some hot temptress. Oh my god! And fucking bitch ass Hanson trick you, you in there, this dude. Can you imagine? Fuck that. Getting into America, you worked your whole life, you get your all your paperwork, and you're like, dude, I'm in America, your whole family in India is like, we are rooting for you, and you come over yeah. here, and they're like, how is America, why are you back? And you're like, like eh, this place is alright, just, you know, I fucking went over there, yeah, right. got on TV like, over there, I was on yeah, TV, yeah. like, what show? They're like, oh, some show, I forget. Some fucking. show about fucking 15-year-olds. <laughs> some some dating like, oh, show. oh, sweet, did you get to fuck that 15-year-old? <laughs> like, no, I, it's weird, over there, you can't fuck them. <laughs> You're not allowed. She was hot. They kick you out of America if you fuck 15 Some fucking guy showed up and kicked me out. I was standing there naked in the living room. I was ready. Well, what did you write to her? Like, I told her I would teach her how to touch her nipples. And they're yeah. like, great. Yeah, it's like, what, did he read it on national television? Let everyone know how good you are with words? He's like, are you a woman yet? Have you had your first blood? I brought you a wine cooler. 
<laughs> to catch a predator it never gets old. No, that joke, those jokes have been going on for like 20 years now. <laughs> just the thing about or a guy who was in America sitting, like looking for work, dad of a whole family, just like sitting on the shoreline. His kids are like, Papa, how was America? He's like, we will never speak of it ever again. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the lad getting caught. Because <laughs> leading up to getting caught, he must have been like, dude, America is the best place on earth. <laughs> I've been here for three fucking days and already some hot kid is trying to fuck me. That's the first thing he does. He gets the internet. He's like, what's the internet? He's like, oh, it connects you to people. He was like, 13-year-old girl. <laughs> yeah, he just immediately Googled. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, but those, those when they read that, it's just... The lads, though, they're like, yeah, that's... Yeah. The lads and Indians are like, yes, could you please leave? Yes. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. I'm about to score, dude. He just cracks him a beer. He's like, here you go, yeah, please. I'm about to have sex. What do you think? Get out of here. Dude. Please. That is so funny. You must go. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. We should wrap it up, right? Yeah, we're at an hour. Uh, Challenge of the week. Find my poetry online. I dare you. Find Matt McC... Did you have a name? Or did you go by Matt McCusker? No, I have a, I have a, a pen have a handle. pen name? What's yeah, your name? You have to make a login. What's your Well, how are they going to find it if you don't... I had MJM942. That was my login. MJM942? Yeah. Oh, that's easy find. Google MJM942. You might find it. You might not. Find some poetry. Yeah, dude. Um, also, uh, November 8th, we're yep. doing Digital Graffiti, the return That's of Digital big, Graffiti. Yeah, November That's 8th. still in the works. That might not, I don't know what's going on. At with that. Helium, we'll let you know. November 8th, Digital Graffiti, I think it's a Wednesday. Wednesday night, yeah. Us being mean to uh, other people, which is very fun. Yeah. And then uh, November 22nd, Live cast. Live podcast at Helium. <laughs> that's, the, that's the fucking one. Yep. You need to be there. The night be, before be Thanksgiving, fun. we're going to fucking black out. It'll be very fun. Um, I don't know. This weekend, I'm opening for the Rich Voss down in DC. Damn. So if you're from DC, go to that. And uh, other than that, find Matt's poetry online. Exactly. Suck our dicks. If you're Shane's ex girlfriend, please give me the. If fucking you're thing. my ex girlfriend, <laughs> don't fucking send anyone that fucking poem. Oh man, dude. do not. The dog, that dude. The dogs are on the trail right now. If if that gets out, I, I know, dude. Don't even joke about that. <laughs> I would honestly be ruined. Why? It's so gay. What? I'm not, I based my whole life on calling other people gay. <laughs> That's why I dress like this. I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to wear anything cool. I'm not allowed to do anything cool. So if someone finds your love letter, it'd be funny if you started dressing cool. After I, that. I would have to turn cool. You'd have to t- dress cool. Yeah. I'd have to be gay now. Get like leather boots. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Those are my shoes. You have to get pointy leather boots. Nike sneakers. You have to wear like a fedora and pointy. I, I got some old. <laughs> you have to dress button like, downs up you have there. To dress like Rich Voss, dude. dude all my yeah, I'm gonna start wearing Ed Hardy and shit, yeah. dude. All, look how out of style all my old clothes are now. It's really funny. It's all about the change. It's gonna be like silk suit suits up there in a minute. I'm gonna dude. have They're, to. Dude, people are gonna fucking find that thing. If somebody gets a hold of that poem, I'm gonna be like the young pope. <laughs> I think it's going to ruin me. It turns out everybody loves it. And they're like, wow, what a compassionate, beautiful writer. Exactly. No, it's the worst. Uh, <laughs> it's so it. fucking corny. <laughs> no, I can't. I cannot. So, yeah, fuck that. Fuck you. Praise the Lord, I was born to travel. Feeling like Slash in front of the chapel. I lean back with the less pull. Shit I smoke is like cholesterol. Spill dressing on the vest at the festival, the best of all. Had a midget Puerto Rican at my beck and call. Best believe that there was naked fall. Fuck around and almost wrecked the sub. Uh, we took acid for 10 days straight up in the mountains. Yeah. Started running with the stallions. Playing frisbee in the West Indies. Did the tangle with my kidneys. Eyes open now, I know just what my kids need. Rocking very loose pants. Yeah. Rocking very loose pants. Buried a million in the sand by the cloud tower Before I die, take a hot shower Ride the Harley into the sunset 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 By chance, I seen her in the lobby of the rich With a man, the one that swings the hockey stick